Hi, I'm Hassan from Ref6. Today we're going to do a buzzer flag test. I'm joined by three different officials here. Hi, I'm Michael, level three referee and panel select list assistant referee. I'm Taisei, I'm level two in Japan, I'm level five in England. Hello, Jamie Wells, level three referee. Cool, let's get into it. So we've got three different uh, flags in front of us. We've got the Ervacom, the touchline flags, and signal beep. is gonna take a look at the case for the Ervacom and uh, just let me know what you think and how you feel. As in the case, you got holding pots. Yep. Um, you know, you got, you put, you can put all together and uh, it's a soft uh, material. It's not dangerous, easy to carry. I like this. Cool. What rating would you give it? Um, I give nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, perfect. So the touchline case I was immediately impressed with. It comes in a nice size, you've got nice separate compartments, you've got the main compartment for your two flag hold, you've got a second compartment which holds your receiver unit nicely tucked away in there. You've got two open and closed Velcro compartments around the back to keep anything extra that you'd like to put in there, whether that's your receiver strap, whether that's a tuber grip, or whether that's your spare handle tops. And what I really like about the touchline um, carry cases that there's a third compartment for your third stick that the fourth official may use and obviously through touchline you can either order a two flag option or a three flag option and um, one thing that did stand out to me as well as opposed to the other carry cases is that it's nice and firm it's not going to become flimsy in your bag it's going to really protect your sticks so I've been very impressed by the touchline flags so I'd like to give the ref six rating a 10 out of 10 so Jamie we've got the signal beeps in front of us yep uh, what do you think about the case? I preferred the signal beep over the other two cases due to the size and the weight of the case. Okay. It's nice and easy to go in the bag, so it's not going to take up too much room if you've got a lot of other things to take into consideration on match day. Sure. So what about the only thing I think is a drawback is having the flags and the handles separate and having, having to do that before the game? What do you think about that? It can come to a disadvantage if you're quite strapped for time, but... Yeah. Um, if you if you can get the hang of it and it it wouldn't be too bad great so what rating would you give these for the rating i'll be giving it nine out of ten so now we're going to have a look at the whole flag as itself um this is the overcome one guys what do you think so i've been really impressed by the overcomes um i've used them for two or three games earlier in the season whilst my touch lines were, were being repaired and in terms of the flag itself it's it's quite impressive uh, nice rubber handle there extra bubbles for grip nice position in terms of the button and it gives you a nice degree of feedback as well it doesn't feel like your arm's gonna yeah. fall off yeah. and you end up pressing it what about you Joe? so you can feel as you're holding it like the grip is there so it's keeping your hand in place so you can have your thumb on the button as well and your finger down along the side um, it's a nice size it's nice weight. Yeah, I totally agree. I like the uh, buttons. It's really, really, really easy to recognise. I like the bubbles. Though, however, it might be disadvantage that the length of it, because uh -huh. it's a bit longer than the other flags, and uh, you don't always want to don't want to carry uh, a long one. To, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 cool. All right, so that was the overcom. Now we'll go with the touchline. Touchline feels like a real high quality product. You really feel like you're getting your money's worth from it. Um, Nice length of handle, uh, nice material for, for grip. Again, button is nicely positioned. Fair amount of feedback coming through that. Very, very similar to the Ervo comes. Um, again, nice high quality product. I suppose the, the only difference is length of flag. Yeah. This seems to be a more standard uh -huh. length of flag that I would look to, look to expect to, on the whole, a really nice product. Cool. They've updated this version. It used to just be a clear plastic. Now it's got a new material on it, which has uh, your hand, your hand can grip hold of it a bit more easier. The button's a bit more higher than the overcom, so I feel that's a bit trickier if you're going to push a button and then play for the offside. I don't know if you want to agree. Yeah, um, I like the grips. I like the uh, length of uh, flags. Uh, it's really mobile, so it's uh, easy to use. Um, well, it, it's a bit tricky that this one, um, because of the button, it's a bit deeper than the uh, uh, 
uh, other flags. So you might not recognise if you fish or not. So sure. that would be the tangible part. Yeah. Amongst the many, many positives of the flag, the only downside that I would say is the distance between the top end and the bottom end where the flag is secured. Yeah. So with the Ervo come, yeah. it's top end to bottom end in terms of the flag. Yeah. Whereas sometimes when you're running along with the Ervo come, it makes yeah, a shaking lines, sound. It yeah. yeah. doesn't necessarily put you off, but yeah. I see that as a positive with the overcomes that I don't necessarily see Perfect. with the touch lines. Great, so the last one is the signal beep ones. There's one major difference, but I'll let you uh, take a look. Sure, so obviously the first thing that stands out to you is the, is the colour of the colour of the handle. It's, it's very funky. Yeah. Um, not necessarily traditional refereeing, but that could be perceived as a good thing or a bad thing. Again, nice handle, good length in size, buttons good it's well placed. Difference being that you don't get any vibration feedback from this, it's just a bleep, mm -hmm. um, particularly in a stadium type atmosphere where there's a lot of noise that yeah. could be missed, so uh -huh. just something to, to bear in mind there. In terms of length, I'd say very, very similar to the Evocom yeah. flags, um, so if you're not used to a, a long-ended yeah. flag, that might take some getting used to. Right. Okay, I, I like this, I like the um, I like the position of you've got a rest for the thumb so then you can slide over and push the signal. Obviously it's quite slidey in the hand so if it could have a few more ridges just to hold it in place that would be not a bad little addition to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Um, I like the sump part, you can have a rest there if you're not pushing it. And uh, I like the sound, um, however it might be the challenging part of the grip thing because yep. it's a bit slippy than the two of it, other right. flags. So now we're going to quickly rate the uh, flags. Uh, we'll start with the touchline guys. So so for the touchline flag, nice high quality product. I'd like to give it a Ref6 rating of 8 out of 10. I am also going 8 out of 10. I'm 8 out of 10 as well. What about the overcomes? So for the overcomes, again, plenty of positives there. I'd like to give it a Ref6 rating of 9 out of 10. I'm going 10 out of 10 on this. Mm, I love it as well, 10 out of 10. And the signal beep, the last one, the orange handles. So for the signal beeps, lots of positives in and amongst some funky coloured handles. I'd like to give it a ref 6 rating of 6 out of 10. I'm going 7 out of 10. I'll go 7 out of 10. So now we're going to check the receiver and just get feedback from the referees on how that receiver works. So this is the touchline receiver unit battery pack and the touchline receiver unit arm holder. So it just opens and closes on a simple click mechanism. Inside we have a nine volt replaceable battery. To turn on the receiver unit, you press button one. Okay, so now the receiver unit's paired with your two flags. To turn the volume up and down, you would use your two buttons at the bottom here. So your button two, button three, you hold it down to pair with your flag and then you have the option to either have the volume on, off, vibrate, only, etc, etc. You then shut the receiver unit as so, place the receiver unit inside the arm hold, velcro over the top and then that's strapped straight onto the arm. In terms of how comfortable the receiver unit battery pack is, it's absolutely fine. For added um, security, I do like to put a tuber grip over the top just to make sure that it's firm in place and then as a referee you're not worried about the receiver unit falling out or anything like that. So Overcom, uh, when you want to turn off the on and off the batteries, you simply turn on the lights, turn on the buttons. So if you want to put it on, simply put it into your arm, turn it around, hold it like this and it's done. Here we have signal beep, we've got on and off. On is simply like that, and it bleeps and it gives it an on. Volume is up and down. The difference with this mode, you have a charger instead of a battery mode like the other two. You can't really feel it when it's on your um, arm, however you will need an assistant to help you put it on because it's quite fiddly trying to get it on. So now we're going to rate each of the receiver units. We'll start with the touchline. Touchline receiver unit, simple, comfortable on the arm. Only con maybe just some added security would be nice in there, but on the whole, I'd like to give it a ref six rating of eight out of ten. Great, I give it eight as well. I'm going seven out of ten. Uh, should we move on to the overcom? Mike, do you want to go first? So for the overcom uh, receiver unit, again, nice and comfortable on the arm, simple to use. I'd like to give the overcom unit an eight out of ten. I give nine out of ten. I'm going eight out of ten. And the last one, the signal beep. Signal beep receiver unit, nice size product. 
slightly fiddly to place onto the arm, you do need an assistant to help you there, so I would give it a ref 6 rating of 6 out of 10. I give 7 out of 10. I like this one, so I'm going 8 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed that. That's a ref 6 electronic flags review. Uh, we looked at the handles, we looked at the flags, we looked at the way to use it, the comfortability, etc. But overall, the winner was Ervacom.